Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Hulu Live TV app. Now, we're not just going to talk about the Hulu Live TV service. We're also going to talk about the app and how you can use this app, whether you're the good old-fashioned uh, limited commercial or the no commercial for $11.99, or you subscribe to the live uh, TV beta, you can use this app. Now on tvOS, which is your Apple TV, it's a totally new app. The old app goes away, the new app is there, okay? On iOS, it's an additional download, so you can have the old Hulu app as well as the new live TV app. And you can use that new live TV app even if you're not a subscriber. So they have plans, which are $7.99, that's the old-fashioned one with the commercials in between. And then you can uh, upgrade four bucks more. You get the uh, no commercials, uh, but it's not totally true because there are some shows that require uh, commercials because they're not part of that agreement. Uh, but it limits the amount of commercials you see. And then you can get the Hulu with live TV, which adds channels and your favorite sporting and things like that. But I'm going to show it to you the new Hulu app without the live TV first. Just a quick look. And then we're going to subscribe. And I'm going to actually subscribe to the Hulu live TV uh, without commercials. Okay, that's the high $43.99. Which is close to, you know, PlayStation View and DirecTV, what it, what, what it was before they boosted the price up. And Sling, you know, if you got the uh, both packages the blue and the orange okay so comparably it's 45 bucks each one of those and this is the 45 dollar version of the hulu now there are also some other charges if you wanted to now the you get 50 hours of live and on-demand tv dvr recording okay and you also can only watch on two devices so if i'm in my home and i'm watching on my computer the hulu i'm signed in and my son's watching it on the apple tv that's all you get so that third person comes in and sits down and they're paying 43.99 you're only going to get two streams at once if you upgrade to f another 14.99 out of your pocket you can get 200 hours of record and uh, opposed to the 50 and you can record more shows more time or whatever and then there's another fifteen dollars you can add to do unlimited screens so when you're in your home with the 15 bucks you can watch as many devices as you want one's on pc one's on the apple tv another one is on the ios device the other one's on the ipad as many as you want outside of the home when you're at work starbucks airport you can do three streams and that's it so out of the house three streams it's called on the go for 15 bucks now if you subscribe to both of these 15 dollars each it would be 30 dollars but they give you a discount they give them to you 10 bucks a month if you do both okay the premium add-on for 8.99 you get showtime and then that will be incorporated into the menu of the new app you would get showtime shows okay so now we got the pricing out of the way let's check advice uh, availability so you get apple products like iphone and ipad have an app the, for the new hulu live android phones and tablets xbox one apple tv and the chromecast those are the ones that work coming soon within the year you're going to have the fire tv and amazon fire tv roku samsung tvs they're going to have um, you know other devices that you can use this on and they'll come up as they go so keep an eye out on the website and you'll know what you got. Now, what channels do you get? Okay, so now we have channel availability. Now, I live in Massachusetts. It's not one of the six or seven states that get live TV because they have the network station located in their state. So let me show you my zip code, which is Massachusetts, anywhere in Massachusetts. So I typed in and I hit submit. Now I'm going to only get three local channels, uh, which is channel four, CBS, I think it is, and CSN, and I'm going to get Nesson, which is some college stuff. 
And that's the only live TV I'm going to get. Same thing holds true with PlayStation, Direct TV, and all that stuff. They don't offer much for as far as local live news and sporting events, okay? But you will get on-demand stuff. And it could be as soon as five minutes after it starts airing, uh, not so much with sports, but you'll get that, you know, news. And it's a general throughout the United States, you know, kind of thing. It's not your local, you know, town news. It'll be you know, or to, or show. It'll be the, the show that they show everybody across the United States. So here are all the channels. It's 54 channels listed here as of today. Um, and for sports, you're going to get the ESPNs. You're going to get the Fox Sports. You're going to get the NBC Sports, which is good. But you're not going to get BN. And furthermore, Hulu Live TV is not treated like a cable provider like PlayStation View is. Now, PlayStation View, when you go to sign into individual apps, you'll see them on the list. So say you went to the AMC app and you put your PlayStation View credentials in, your username and password, you'll get to use that app and you'll get more episodes and things like that. But with Hulu, it's not treated like a cable provider. So you're not going to get individual sign-ins to different individual apps on your devices you got to use the hulu live tv app in order to use the live tv so whatever's available whatever's currently available is all you get you're not going to go individual app and get all the episodes like you do with playstation view so i want you to keep that in mind but if you're just looking for an, a package an app that's going to let you see your shows then uh, any one of the um, non-cable box uh, services will work okay and for hulu you don't need a cable box either you never have and you know for all those new playstation view uh, direct tv now and sling you don't need a cable box i'm sure you know this but in case you don't as far as news goes you get the usual cnn and the fox uh, news and you get a couple other news channels you can see some movies here and things like that so it's very watered down but don't forget hulu has a great service as far as having a lot of tv shows so let's now get into the app now before i go out and buy my live tv let me show you what it is for those people who have the limited commercials and the no commercials without the live tv so let's take it over to the Apple TV and I'll show you. So here's your Apple TV. And when you first open up the app, this is the live app that replaces the old one, uh, you get to set up profiles. I wanna set up a new profile today uh, just because uh, I wanna show you what it's like if you never had Hulu before, okay? So I'll just call it me and then I'll go to next and then I won't make it kid friendly. All right, I'm going to just make it so you can watch everything. I'm going to put any old birth date. They want a birth date. And the important thing is the year. So we're going to do 19, I don't know, 68, which, you know, makes me an adult over 21. All right. Uh, if you were to put a date like 2009, they throw you automatically on a kid channel probably. I'm not going to say male or female. I want to not say anything. So I'm going to create the profile. Now, when you create this profile, you're going to have some menus that you're going to go through. So first you'll have, uh, you're going to, me is the name of my profile here. You can go back and change your profile and everything like that. So let's swipe now. It tells you to swipe. So they're telling you that there's the home uh, area that you can set up your TV lineup. Okay. And I'm going to show you all this stuff, but I'm just showing you these members. And here is my stuff. Anytime you have a show, you hit the plus sign down there, you add it to my stuff, and there's an icon for that, and I'll show you that in a second. And here's the here's the my stuff. That's the little check mark up on top of the menu. So let's get out of this, and I'm now we're into, oh, now they're asking you, do you want to import a playlist? Now, normally, if you had the old version and you had a playlist and, and it was keeping track of all the stuff you were watching, you can import it at this time. But I'm going to say no thanks, since this is a new profile. And we're going to go for it. So now we're in. Now, they're telling us that you can pick different uh, subjects of what you really like to watch. So I like watching popular dramas, documentaries. Um, I would probably throw some British comedy in there and 
you know, whatever. They're just trying to get an idea of who you are. Now, if you scroll all the way back to the top and you get to the top, it'll say continue there. You hit continue and now you can add some shows to your stuff. Okay. So I click this and they're going to give you some recommendations from what you picked previously. And you just go through and pick what you want. So say I was looking through, now I don't see any of the Chicago fire and, you know, all that Chicago stuff, but you know, I see some more mainly old stuff here, but whatever. So I click it and I get a little check mark and, and you know, I go through it. Now I go back to the top and I go to continue. Anytime you select something on a menu, you see an animation of a line going like that. And then you hit continue and it says, hey, me, my profile. So now we're on the main page. Now, this is what opens up every time you open up the Apple TV app, for instance. So across the top here, we have home. We have my stuff, which is customized to your profile. And you have browse, which is almost the same thing as home except it gives you a little bit of different stuff when we start doing live. So they broke it up two separate ways. Now, the first way is to have a lineup. This is the sub menu now under home, uh, TV, movies, kids, uh, new to Hulu, new movies to Hulu, binge worthy, which will give you some old episodes and old seasons, Hulu originals, and they break it up that way. Okay. So we go back to home and now we'll go to browse and basically same thing. TV shows, movies, Hulu originals, uh, kids, genre. Now you can, um, in, on the website, you can find British stuff and anime. And if I hit genre here, I can get anime on here and, and all that stuff. So they're separating menus just to make it like there's more stuff. They're trying to give you, you know, if you really found the list of all the stuff that Hulu gives you, it's not a big, gigantic list. Um, it may not even be worth getting Hulu without live TV, and especially if you're in those states that don't get live TV. So we can also select networks, and I'm sure when we subscribe to the live TV, you'll be able to select not only your networks, but your favorite sports and your favorite uh, other stuff. So here are networks for kids. Here's entertainment. You know, here's A to Z, and you can select your networks. You go through and say you want uh, CNN, because I watch a lot of the CNN news. There's your network. Now, without live TV, you only get one choice. Boom. That's it. No live, no nothing. You can go to the top here and add it to my stuff. Fine. All right. Maybe the live TV service will be better. But I'm just showing you this now because I want to show you before we do live TV. Because I'm thorough like that, you know. So you can also switch over to your profile. So you go back up and you switch over and you could change your profile. You can switch it back to your kids or, you know, you have a spouse and you switch it back to theirs or whatever. Okay. And don't forget to do that because you're going to ruin my profile and the kids are going to be putting kid shows on there. And I don't want kid shows if I don't want to watch it. Now, search. Mm -hmm. You can use the Siri uh, voice search or... Uh, when they have it for you know Amazon or Roku, you can use the search. Uh, but if you type in just what, like one letter, you type one letter and they'll give you the recommendations here at the bottom. You don't have to know how to spell everything and, or spell it completely out. And then you just search through and say, I want Curious George. It's going to take me to Curious George page. Now, anytime you pick a show or uh, whatever show that you like, whether it's not on your add to my stuff, you can add it to my stuff. And you can go across the top there. They'll give you details of some of the shows, all right? And you can also pick episodes. Oh, I'm sorry. You can go to episodes. And you can go to different seasons. And when you find a different season, you go over and you start scrolling through what episodes they have available. Now, some of the shows that I searched, not all the shows are available. That's where the credentialing comes into effect. You're not going to be able to use your Hulu credentials uh, in individual apps on your Apple TV or your iOS or Android devices like you can with PlayStation. You have to, uh, they don't treat Hulu Live TV as a cable provider. So whatever comes on the app, you have to use the app. You can't go into individual like the AMC app or you know this app or whatever. You have to use Hulu. 
I'm not sure if it's like that with the Showtime. Maybe you can use the credentials for Showtime, but I don't think so. I think you have to use Hulu to watch your Showtime stuff. You don't get a separate username that you can go into the Showtime app on your phone and type in Hulu credentials and it works. It doesn't work that way. So consider that when you're thinking about getting Showtime and whatever premium channels they're going to give you in the future. Like if HBO or Cinemax comes available, then you got to think about that. Okay. So once we start playing a show, you can hit play and you basically can swipe up from the bottom on the Apple TV or hit this little button on uh, your iOS app and it will allow you to continue to browse to look for other shows while the other show plays in the background. I can't show you here because I'm recording the screen and Hulu has a, uh, a bypass, a lock on it. So if you're trying to record the screen with your computer, it won't let you see the show uh, once it's recorded via black screen. So you can't record shows onto your computer. All right. That's important too, because some people have Hulu and they like to record the shows and they can't do it. It's got the, the, the block till a jailbreak comes out. You're going to be, a, you're not going to be able to record. Okay. So now let's go in and we're going to go and buy live TV. Okay. So let's go back to our home there. And like I said, home, and you have a bunch of sub menus on each one of these major icons at the top. Here's my show, my stuff. And you have, you know, different networks that you follow, uh, you know, movies that you may have uh, put into my stuff. And here's my my stuff TV shows. Okay. So you can keep it all organized. So when you go on to this my stuff icon, you got all your favorite shows on there. So browse and uh you know the rest of the stuff that you have here okay so a little a lot different from the old app it's got a better uh interface it's more of a flow up and down and side to side on all of the devices so now let's go and buy live tv i'm going to get the big full package with no commercials okay so i'm on my account and i'm going to switch over from the regular 7.99 to the $43.99 and I can get uh, without commercial. So we're gonna just tick that on right there. And we go down and I'm not gonna do the uh, enhanced DVR or the unlimited screens, but you can go ahead and do that if you wanted to by hitting the plus sign. I already have show time on my other thing, so I don't need that. So I'm gonna hit continue. So then we're on confirm changes and we go down here and we put our home zip code. Be honest because uh, they're gonna, you know, block you out if they find out you're lying about where you live to get those live TV shows. Um, you know, we have location services on our phone, and and you have to have that enabled in order to use the Hulu Live app. So be honest, and you want to click here uh, because you want to pause, rewind, and fast forward live TV. So the Hulu will create a temporary uh, recordings. So uh, we confirm that we have all of our stuff here and we're going to hit continue. So that's it. You're all set. So let's go back now to the Apple TV. Okay, so I restart Hulu uh, and I'm going to go to my profile here that we're using for this video. And we open it up and now it says we have to go through the agree process because this is now a new service for us. So yes, I agree. And I'm going to add my networks. So let me add a couple of networks here. Um, let me add CNN. I'll add uh, a couple of more channels here like Fox News. And then let me throw some sports in there. And even though we configured this profile before, these this is all new stuff because now we have some additional channels that we can uh, go to, okay? So uh, that's pretty much it with that for now. Um, let me uh, see if they have the CBS here. Let's do that. And we have another local channel there. And we'll do ESPN2 and ESPN1. And let's throw in something for the kids. And that's pretty much it for now. Uh, if you want, you can select all of them. It's up to you. So hit continue. 
now they're adding that line up to me and now you'll be able to go here and see my channels my stuff so you can do manage your dvr that's something new now you have 50 hours and you got your networks here so if i wanted to click here on cvs i can see now i have live channels remember before we went to cnn and we couldn't get any more than that one little thing now we're going to have some more stuff here okay so live and up and coming and you have the full uh featured let's go to a to z and you can even watch parts unknown and believer and all those good shows and you have more now that you have the live tv service okay it's not just the internet stuff so this was a live channel for us as well in new england here and you can see live uh content here and that's what it would it look like if you lived in like new york or san francisco where they have that live tv you'll see up here live and up and coming so that's something that you get with the premium now espn you also see live and up and coming and for you because they know what i like i guess and here's some popular stuff and new on hulu and a to z so we have our channels in our my stuff but you can also go now to the browse and you can see uh that it looks exactly the same except now you have some more stuff where it would say live so we could see all some of this live stuff that we uh, like i recommend you know adding everything to my stuff at first and everything to live i mean everything to your uh, basic things so that you could see what's on there and then you could pick and choose and take away the plus signs and and stuff like that so popular we can go here and we'll hit like family guy and you could still do episodes and you know you'll get all that stuff so basically it's the same thing what i just showed you in the beginning of this video but now it adds a lot of uh live stuff that you can do okay so let me show you now how the dvr works now you get 50 hours of dvr and when you sign up you check that little check mark and it says that it's going to use some of your dvr uh, your 50 hours to record things that you're currently watching live so say i'm watching a live broadcast or something it's going to record it and it gives me the ability to be able to rewind uh time shifting it's able to rewind back to the beginning of the show even and then fast forward again to where i left off so it's a nice feature and but it uses up some of your 50 hours so uh, let me show you so that you can decide whether you think the 50 hours is enough for you so here i'm in the profile and say i go to uh, browse okay and remember we have the uh the the my stuff all right so i don't currently right now have anything under my stuff so i'm going to click in on tv shows now say i go to live here all right and i go to let's say cnn all right here's what's going on live in cnn i can click this and it will start playing uh but i'm not gonna play it right now you can hit go up like this and it will show you like other stuff that's going on live so you can browse through and see all the live stuff that's going on if you swipe up one more time you can remove uh from my episodes or you can go to the details of any show that you have highlighted currently okay so that's cool now but if you go back let's go back and now we're on that and we're searching this and now you want more detail instead of clicking it and going right into playing the show you can click and hold a particular icon and it will show you details about that show now you can add this show newsroom to your uh your stuff okay or you can individually go and click and hold actually this is a bad example because the background is white so let me find something that's uh not white so here it says click to hold for details so i'm going to click the hold for details and we're on this show and now you'll be able to see it says click and hold to add to my uh episodes all right so here's an up and coming show that's not even playing live right now i'm going to click and hold and there it is boom right into my stuff and that's going to be part of my dvr uh so say i wanted to you know click and hold this one and watch this as well and say i go back and now I go to, say I go to Grey's Anatomy and I click and hold that, okay? And I add that to my stuff, 
okay? Now let me show you what we just done in the last couple of steps. We go up, uh, you're gonna need the DVR. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna go to my stuff. Now you see here in my stuff, I have uh, Grey's Anatomy and then I have, I'm sorry, I have that future show that we're gonna watch and then I have a show that's currently going on live. And that's all gonna be up here in Manage uh, DVR. Now you see it says 44.1. We used some and we uh, made some room to make these shows uh, be able to be recorded. So when you delete these shows, now say I went into the show and I clicked and held and I said, I don't want to record that. What's going to happen is it's going to take it off the DVR, but not right away. I had to restart the whole app and even restart my whole Apple TV in order for it to free up that space. Uh, so if you're at 49.5 and you really want to record the Super Bowl, you can't. You have to do it ahead of time. Make sure you do things ahead of time. Or have 200 and pay the extra 1,500, 200 hours, and, and you're good to go. So it's all up to you whether you want uh, more DVR space. And that's how DVR works. And uh, that's pretty much it. So um, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope that you know uh, you see the difference between having the more expensive live package as compared to the um, just the $7.99 package, and we're using the same exact app. So make sure you leave a comment. Tell me what you think. If I was helpful, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe. And if you want to hit that little bell so that you get an email every time I make a video, that'd be great too. Have a nice day and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.